A few weeks ago, I reviewed a simple looking 2D platformer called 140. Despite simple mechanics, I was disappointed that the action game didn't offer anything new to the formula, choosing instead to recycle ideas found in better platformers. Although I was ultimately let down by the uneven experience, I had a hunch it would only be a matter of time before Carlson Games delivered a product worth getting excited about. As it turns out, I didn't have to wait very long. Thoth is a brand new game from the maker of 140. It trades 2D platforming for dual stick shooting, yet another oversaturated genre where innovation is rare. But instead of simply recycling what every other shoot 'em up has done, Carlson Games has managed to create an action game with one inventive idea right after another. Thoth is everything 140 should have been. The concept is as simple as the graphics. You play a small circle who can fly around the screen shooting enemies of varying shapes. The idea is to shoot all the color out of an object and clear the board. But beware, because removing the color doesn't mean that it takes the enemy off the screen. In fact, it only pisses them off, making them even faster and more aggressive. What seems easy at first will quickly spiral out of control when you have a bunch of large, colorless shapes chasing you around. What sets Thoth apart from so many other dual stick shooters is that it's not afraid to completely rewrite the rules from stage to stage. The levels are split into groups of four, each with their own unique twists on the formula. It starts simple, with round enemies that'll grow over time, bad guys that'll open gates, and of course shapes tethered together. But this is just the warm up, because the game will eventually turn up the challenge in creative ways. For example, one grouping will see the player switching characters with every kill, something that's both cool and a little disorienting. Even though you've seen some of these ideas before, Thoth has enough of these clever gimmicks to keep you going through dozens of stages. They also find unique ways to tinker with the different ideas throughout the game, something that made me compelled to keep pushing forward, even when the game was kicking my ass. This is definitely a challenging game, but it's fair and always doable. Much like 140, you're not really playing this for the gorgeous graphics. At best, this looks like a high-res Atari 2600 game. There are no backgrounds, just the stage number counting down. Each grouping has a different color scheme, but even that is only choosing two or maybe three colors. This is the kind of game where you play for the action, not the visuals. Thoth probably won't win over those who aren't already into dual stick shooters. But fans of the genre will find a fun little action game with a handful of inventive twists on the formula. I like the simple look, the electronic soundtrack, and the way it will play with the rules from one stage to the next. If this is the direction Carlson Games is headed, then I can't wait to see what comes next. Hey, thanks for watching our review. This is gonna be a busy day, as two different embargoes are lifting today. On top of this Thoth video, we'll also have a review of Syndrome, a very scary survival horror game just in time for the Halloween season. And don't forget about our review of Origami and preview of Paladin. We also have a bunch of big reviews coming up, but I'm out of time for this promo. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.